What's up? This is the new uh, canister filter for the new build. Like, this is my first video of the upcoming build. It's the MagnaFlow 360 canister. Um, it's for up to 100 gallons, but it will do uh, up to 360 gallons per hour. So technically this one should be able to do three tanks of that size. I have 150 gallon. Um, so I'm gonna do an unboxing. Uh, this is the, I'm not gonna open it, but this is the hoses and uh, the filter ducts and all that to go in the tank. I'm not gonna open it because I'm not ready to, to hook it up yet. Um, this is important notice for, excuse me, the gasket seal for when you take the lid off. This is what seals the water. A lot of people dismiss it and some people don't even put it in there and they realize, oh, it pours water. But if you ever buy this, this is the gasket that you need. This is how big it is. It probably stands about, I don't know, 16 inches tall. It's probably about 10, 12 pounds. So I'm gonna open it up and show you. And also the uh, hookups for this, for the inlet and outlets in the box. And these uh, come with a three year manufacturer's warranty. So if you ever have any problems with them, uh, you have to put it in a shipping box and ship it with the receipt of proof purchase to uh, Marineland and they'll replace it if you order it offline. Um, it's first tray, and these come in individual little trays. Every one of them does. They kind of stack. So this is a this part right here is a water polisher. Uh, it's recommended to, to go buy a new one of these at once every two to three weeks. It says uh, the information I've read says do not wash them out because the material will, it comes apart. So it's just better to uh, buy a new one. And here's your ceramic uh, media. These are really, really good. I've read people that people just use a ceramic media through the whole thing. But you have your options. It gives you your options with this kit. Here's the next tray. And you got these little bio balls. Well, the bacteria grows on these. The good bacteria. Uh, here is uh, the uh, charcoal. It's for your oxygen and stuff like that. Here's your charcoal bags. Uh, they go right there and just take them out of the bag, and, uh, out of the plastic, and just put them in there. And on the bottom is uh, two thick sponge uh, sponge filters. It gets all the big debris, and as it comes up to the top, to be cycled back into the tank. Uh, it gets oxygen and it gets filtered and all of that. That's pretty much it on this. Uh, maintenance on these is very, very simple. I think it, uh, some people I've read will come in and like do a, a small washout like once a month or once every couple months. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I want to put it back together, show you how it goes back together. So all these, uh, ho all these top hoses connect together, and the inlet goes down to the bottom, and it comes back up to the outlet. That's how it gets filtered. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the build. It's going to take me a little while to get it all done. When I'm ready for it, I'll show you the rest of this. Uh, the rest of how to do this how to put the hoses on and uh, all of that which I think the top one yeah the top one's off the bio ball is what was holding it up
There it goes. Locking it to go back down in there. Maybe what it is. No? Yeah, this part's a little aggravating. There it goes. But, like I said, when I get ready to put water and all that, I'll show you how the hoses and everything get hooked up to it. So, look forward to other videos. Like and subscribe.